This is Living Power with Dan Hurst. Now, as we begin chapter 8, there's been some uh, controversy concerning uh, the authenticity of the first 11 verses of chapter 8, which I think is silly because there shouldn't be any, any question about this. Um, yes, the, uh, the style is different from the rest of the Gospel of John. The vocabulary is a little different from the rest of the Gospel of John. But that really shouldn't raise an alarm or, or discount the truth that, that is presented here. Why? Because chapter 8 um, introduces another period of time in Jesus' life. I don't believe that John um, or the writers, any of the writers for that matter, just sat down and just wrote something out all at one sitting. It happened over a period of time. As a matter of fact, more than likely what happened was a lot of this was spoken first. And it was, it was taught and, it was, and it, was, uh, it was taught by rote. And then eventually it was written down. And so uh, a lot of what was going on here was just stories and, and things that were happening that were brought together. And John brought these under the inspiration of the Holy Spirit, mind you. But all of this was brought together. So this, this, this story of, of the adulterous woman could have been written at a different time. Uh, it probably was because this is introducing another phase, if you will, another chapter in Jesus' life. And it's important to understand and to remember the, um, the purpose of the Gospel of John. Remember, it's not, the Gospel of John is not a, uh, an historical chronology of the life of Christ. That was not the purpose. That was not the intent. In fact, John said in John chapter 20, uh, verse, verses 30 through 31, Jesus did many other signs in the presence of the disciples, which are not written in this book. These are written that you might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that by believing you may have life in his name. That was the purpose. John said, my purpose for writing this is to prove and to reveal and to give you evidence of the divinity of Christ, the divinity of Jesus. So, uh, and in doing so, the purpose of revealing that was to help us to know God better and to understand how to think about God, but also how God thinks about us. That's a very important part of it. And so when John is writing, he's not only writing, telling you, oh, this is what Jesus did, what he did. He's writing to tell you, explain to you, and to reveal to you that Jesus is God. But he's also writing in a way that says, this is how God thinks about you. This is how God reacts and thinks about you. On behalf of Dan Hurst and the Open Class, we want to thank you for watching. We hope it was a blessing.